I'm Allie. I'm a 32-year-old housewife. This is my husband, Bob, and my six-year-old son, John. Mom, let me help you with the laundry. Oh, thank you, dear. I'm your hero, Mom. It's my job to help you. <laughs> thank you, baby. John helps me out a lot around the house. Kids his age don't really do that. He's so kind and caring. I am so proud of him. Then, one Sunday afternoon, my husband was home that day. I decided to go out to go get groceries. I'll go today. You need some pasta? I'll take the car. Why don't you go relax at a cafe or something? You deserve a day off. Really? Thank you. Dad, where are you going? To the grocery store to get some food. Can I come? I thought you wanted to watch that TV show. Yeah, but I want to help Dad. Is that so? You're so kind. A generous husband and a kind son. I'm the luckiest person in the world. My husband did this a lot. He took John out so I could enjoy some me time. I know, I'm going to spy on them today. I want to see what they're like when I'm not around. So I left the house and headed to the grocery store. I waited for them to arrive. Hope they don't notice me. Ah, there they are. Dad, shopping is really fun. Yeah. Hey, John, grab that basket for me, will you? Okay. This is pretty heavy. Oh, come on. Forget it. Here, carry this instead. This should make you stronger. What? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Bob threw a bag of flour at John. It must have weighed more than 40 pounds. Daddy, this is too heavy. Your friend Anthony can carry this. Why are you so weak? Come on, man up. Let's go. Wait. He tried his best to keep up with him. I had to go and help him, but it was too late. He fell to the ground. The bag was too heavy. John, you okay? Mommy, it hurts. Oh, you're here? What did you do to him? Why did you make him carry something that heavy? Why not? You got a problem? It's only 40 pounds. He's a boy. He's six. Look, he's hurt. What a weak kid. Dad, Mom, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I shouldn't have fell. No, honey, it's not your fault. I took him to the hospital right away. He had some scars on his face. Luckily, it was nothing serious. But I was so upset that my husband was like that. And one more thing. Who's Anthony? I tried asking him, but ever since the incident, he started ignoring me. Hey, John, do you know who Anthony is? Yeah. He's a bit older than me. He plays with me sometimes. Whenever we go to Miss Cynthia's house, he plays with me. Miss Cynthia? Anthony's mom. She's good friends with Dad. They usually go out together. Anthony and I play at home while we wait for them to come back. Miss Cynthia. Wait a minute. I didn't want to believe it. I hired a detective agency. I got the results a month later. He was cheating on me. After handing over John to Anthony, the two of them went to a nearby hotel. The agency got some photos a few days later. My husband was back to normal. John seemed fine too. I'll watch John tomorrow. You can go out if you want. So he's gonna go see her again, huh? Using our son to see some other woman. I decided to get revenge. All right, see ya. Later. Bye, Mom. Bye, have fun with Dad. Okay, well, it's usually Anthony who plays with me, but okay. What are you talking about, Bob? We'll play together, like always. You'll hang out with me today? Yay! Yeah, of course. Why do you sound surprised? We'll play together like we always do. Uh, okay. 
Whatever. Hmm. Okay then. See you. I headed over to Miss Cynthia's house. There she was, the woman my husband was seeing. Who are you? Recognize me? Uh, no. I'm Bob's wife. Bob? Wait, you're his wife? Yep, let me in. Fine. Hey, you must be Anthony. Yeah. You always play with John, right? He's told me so much about you. Sure. Now I just wait for them to arrive. Anthony was there too. He was probably in junior high. So he's the one that takes care of John all the time. Hey! Mom, why are you here? Ali, what the? Wait, are you gonna play with us too? Yay, this is awesome! Sorry, dear, I can't. I have to talk to Dad and Miss Cynthia. What? Boring. But don't worry. I got a special guest for you. Grandpa and Grandma. You can play with them. Really? Yep. And Anthony is here too. Have fun! I asked my parents to look after John and Anthony so the three of us could have a talk. Why are you here, Ali? You really want to know? John told me. He told me about Miss Cynthia and Anthony. That idiot! I told him to keep quiet. Don't get mad at him. It's your fault. That kid is useless. Seriously? You're unbelievable. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yeah, so what? I'm sick and tired of you, so I'm sleeping with her. Got a problem? Okay, so we should probably get a divorce then, right? Yeah, really? <laughs> Lucky me! Hell yeah! Cynthia, we can finally be together! Huh? What? What's the matter? I don't want to marry you. What? You said if I left my wife, you'd marry me. You believed me? You're hilarious. I didn't mean that. You don't mean anything to me. I'm not leaving my husband. You're pathetic. What? Poor you. Even your mistress left you. But Cynthia, do you really think you can just get away with this? Think again. Your husband is away on business, right? How do you know? I hired a detective agency. I know everything about you. A detective agency? I sent your husband a letter. What? What did you send him? Oh, nothing. Just some photos of you and my husband walking into a motel together. Just wanted to let him know what his wife was up to. What the hell did you do that for? He should probably get it in the mail today. Hope you guys can work things out. He'll never forgive me. He always said so. Oh no! Ali, please forgive me. Let's start over. Seriously? You were excited about the divorce just seconds ago. I was kidding. It's okay, really. You treat my son like crap anyways. We'll be much better off without you. Oh, come on. Think about it, will you? What about money? You'll need money to raise him. No worries. I'll sue you both for damages. Plus, you'll have to pay child support, so I think I'll be fine. Plus, I can always get a new job. Sue us? Child support? I can't afford that. Me neither. My husband is going to leave me. Just take it from your husband. Leave me out of it. No can do. See you both in court. A few weeks later, I divorced my husband. The court ordered him and his mistress to pay me a large sum of money for damages. Oh, and I heard Cynthia's husband left her too. Her husband took Anthony. After I left him, my ex-husband lost his mind. He ended up getting fired from his job. Today, he works at a convenience store to pay child support. Pathetic. As for me, I started working at the company I used to work for before I had John. Raising a kid on my own isn't easy, but
but people at work are very understanding. So I think I'm gonna be all right. Mom, how was work? Need any help? Work is tough, but don't you worry about a thing. Okay, thanks. Hey, want me to give you a massage? Thank you, dear. I'm your hero, Mom. John was such a good boy. I'm so proud of him. <laughs>